All right, first one, y'all voted on the poll. Top five NA players going into winter three. Obviously, this is not top five players in NA overall. This is just heading into winter regional three. So keep that in mind. This is also my opinion. So if you guys disagree, that's fine. We're allowed and we're entitled to our different opinions about Rock League Esports. So starting off, I'm just going to give some honorable mentions, some players to look out for, but I don't think are necessarily in my top five. Starting off with Aqua, he can carry Rogue to a top six, maybe even a top four if they're lucky and they're playing really well together as a team and they could potentially steal that fifth spot in NA. Aqua's been really solid. He's been obviously the best player on Rogue. Second is Atomic. I think the more he fits in with G2, the better they're going to look and the more prolific they're going to look. He definitely is like that facilitator all across the field for defense and offense and even that midfield presence. So watch out for him. Obviously, you guys know who Atomic is. And my last honorable mention is Mist. I think he's the only reason why Envy is still winning games. If Mist wasn't popping off, they would not. They, they wouldn't. They would look even worse than they have. Keep that in mind. Mist is doing really well. If Turbo and Dries can kind of figure out their ways around him. I think that Envy can start to put it back together, but Yahoo! number five is Daniel. Starting off my list, I'd say he definitely has the most like ability to pop off and take over an event for his specific team. He's the best player in SSG, in my opinion, right now, and he's only played in two regionals. Dude's crazy. He allows Arsenal and Rettles to play around him really well, and he fits into their mold really well. I think with his new, like, newfound motivation, like, he's definitely bringing a lot to that team, so that's why he's my fifth spot. Number four is Garrett G, Captain America. You can't deny his credibility, his winning pedigree, and even he has the stats to back it up. I think energy withstanding NA for so long, and, like, all the different players coming in, the new rosters coming in, the fact that Squishy, Garrett, and Justin have stuck since all CSX until now is a testament to who they are as a team and what they and who they are as players. And Garrett, to me, is a top five NA player going to Winter Regional Three. My third player is Chicago. I'd say Chicago is the best player in G2 right now. He is the facilitator for the offense, and his offensive prowess is what keeps them winning games. They actually had a negative net score this last regional that they won. And their saves, I think they were third worst in differential. Like they were like negative like 1.4 or something like that in saves per game. But their offense is so strong because of Chicago. Also like Atomic and JNAPs. But Chicago to me is their best player right now. This is probably going to give away my number one. But my number two player heading to Winter Regional 3 is First Killer. He is the best player in phase, no doubt in my mind. He led Winter Regional 2 and I want to say goals, shots, and he was second in assists. He also led in rating as well, like Octane GG's rating. It's an aggregate stat. FaZe had three out of the top five. So they had some games where they definitely popped off in like, I don't want to call it stat padding, but they inflated their stats a little bit. Fun fact about FaZe, although they took third and lost two series in this event, they didn't get outscored in any single series they outscored g2 when they lost and they outscored energy when they got reverse swept so first killer yes, to me the best player on phase number two per player to watch yes, if phase pops off first killer is going to be the reason why and they can win my best player my number one player in na going to winter regional three is justin he wasn't feeling well this weekend and he still was the best performing player in energy he has been the best player in na for a long time obviously like going back and forth with first killer like during like the winter split during our lcsx so Justin, there's no denying it. The winning pedigree, the credibility to like him and his testament to Energy's roster. There's just no there's no denying that Justin is the go-to guy for Energy and he shows up and he never he never folds. He always is that guy. Justin's floor is so high that he it's in, it's insane what he can do on the pitch but those are my top five players going to which regional three if you guys have other players in mind other things that you want me to say about them or things that i might have missed please let me know down in the comments down below but if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and i will see you guys later on in the week for another video but until then have a great rest of your day peace